For three quarters of a century, UNESCO has been promoting international cooperation in education, culture, and the sciences. Founded after the Second World War to help restore peace and harmony in the post-war world, UNESCO is celebrating its 75th anniversary in 2020. Founders of this organization were aware that the defenses of peace must be constructed in the minds of men and women. We Ukrainians fully understand the wisdom of those words from UNESCO Constitution. We suffered a lot during the war. Now we are defending our liberty. We highly value and support UNESCO's important mission. In most people's minds, the organization is associated with the monuments, parks and other heritage sites under its protection. Since May 12, 1954, Ukraine has had the privilege of being a full member of UNESCO. Many national treasures, both natural and cultural, have a place on its World Heritage List. The view, the ensemble of the historic center, residents of Bukovinian and Dalmatian metropolis, cave, St. Sophia Cathedral and related monastic buildings, cave Pechersk Lavra, ancient city of Tarek Khersonese and its Kora, Bakhchisarai Palace of the Crimean Khans. Ukrainian cultural and natural treasures are included in the World Heritage. This is our pride. But this is our pain as we're thinking about Ukrainian UNESCO protected sites in the temporarily occupied Crimea. We can't but express our concern over ancient city of Tower Kersenas, which is under the threat, as well as Bakhchisarai Palace of Crimean Tara Hans and many other cultural sites. We call upon the international community to prevent Russian occupying power from damaging our common heritage on the peninsula and committing serious violations of human rights and fundamental freedoms. Being a Crimean Tatar by origin, I feel it especially acutely. It is important that UNESCO completes the establishment of the efficient and comprehensive mechanism of the monitoring situation in Crimea. Ukraine stands ready to work together with UNESCO to achieve this goal and to contribute to its humanistic mission as a whole. In 193 countries, UNESCO also develops and supports media, education, environment, science. Ukraine is equally proud of its traditions that have made it onto UNESCO's intangible cultural heritage list. Tradition of Kosiv painted ceramics, Petrikivka decorative painting, and the Cossack songs of the Dnipopetrovsk region. The strength of UNESCO also lies in its ability to find adequate answers to the most pressing challenges. Since its membership in 1954, Ukraine has been a part of this process, and we are determined to actively work together with other UNESCO member states to achieve its goals. No doubt, we all need UNESCO, efficient and open to the world. UNESCO grew out of destruction to promote peace and security. Now, 75 years on, its work is as relevant as ever. From all of Ukraine, thank you for 75 years of vital work.